The Irungo governor and senior education officials visited rural schools to assess their readiness for the new academic year. At Tubusi's Oigap Primary, the principal revealed that the school has not offered face-to-face -face classes since March last year due to water shortages. As we don't have the running water applicable at the school, even our application block cannot function properly. Although we can go and tell hostels, or, I mean application block as well as facilities, the mere fact that we don't have running water looks like that all these resources will look like a white elephant. From a truck, Nam Water distributes water to the community and to the primary school, but the principal says their 10,000 litre tanks are not filled up to capacity. But it's hard to see that they are filling it up, up to up to the half, up to 5,000. It's below 5,000, 2,000, 4,000, and that's when we, they are stopping. And then it will take them the arrival of Jesus Christ to come and fill it up again, also bring it up to that level. It's a very hard fight. Coupled with a lack of ablution facilities, the water shortage is also persistent at Spitzkopes Katora Primary School, where pupils practice open defecation. We've got three bowls, and at the moment, two are already without water. We are now operating on one. I ask whether this bowl will take us at least up to the end of the year, which they doubt. Our ablution facilities at the hostel is not in use, absolutely. We have closed down, and as the learners were using the bushes, because the reason is our pipes are blocked. At Ochiperongo Junior Secondary near Omashete, the principal says the school experiences a water crisis almost annually, given challenges with borehole equipment. Emphasizing that Daure's constituency is severely affected by drought, the governor says his office is working on the issue with the Ministry of Agriculture, Water and Forestry. Of course, it's difficult to solve it uh, because the problem is that uh, you might find boreholes that are dry or you find some boreholes uh, are not working or they have some here and there defects. So those are the things that uh, we will address. Uh, but of course, uh, it's something that is uh, receiving our, our attention. Renata Rengura, NBC News, Erongo Region.